thank you, and uh, I guess I gotta go really quick, correct? <laughs> Well, I, I, I just want to say, first of all, thank you to you and the previous presenters because I think they made uh, you know, an excellent setup for the few minutes that I have uh, to just kind of pick up from that great timeline that uh, Jill referred to. And um, I just want to give you a moment to read uh, the vision of the MSEC. Uh, you heard uh, a little bit more as to what, how this came about. And the most important thing here is the, uh, the engagement uh, of these uh, institutions and uh, their capabilities. Um, as you read this, um, I just want to, you know, uh, emphasize you've been hearing a lot about the missing millions report, the calls to action, what they've stated, uh, the different panels have brought up so many important things. And uh, I just wanna add that, you know, since we don't have a lot of time to review all those things today, but that um, as you probably leave this meeting, you're realizing that, uh, you know, uh, these institutions, uh, you know, which we tend to bundle as minority serving institutions, but each and every designation has cultural context, history, and very different context too. So when we think about uh, CI also, um, I think that we need to also consider that we need to look at uh, the type of CI strategic action across and with within each category. There is not a one size fits all either. So that's where I, and it's, I'm just a messenger here, so a humble messenger here. But I think this is where the MSCC is front and center. And uh, it is also uh, why the MSCC, with support from Internet2, proposed a bold approach to the National Science Foundation in spring of 2021. Um, awards are there, but uh, since we don't have a lot of time, I just want to cover a couple of things here. Uh, awarded in September of 2021, the uh, first award is towards a Center of Excellence uh, Demonstration Pilot to increase um, access to cyber infrastructure resources and to empower uh, researchers at MSEC campus and their use of cyber infrastructure. So this slide covers a few of the aspects of that. Some key components here include the awareness, the outreach, community building, and communication through the MSEC, but also uh, moving the MSEC to be into itself a more robust effort. And Jill mentioned, uh, and thank you for including the photos too, of some of the people that she said, do not forget their names. And I'm going to ask you to not forget their names and to also take a look at the other names. Unfortunately, I couldn't put their pictures of everybody, but I will leave their pictures because I really believe it's very important that you remember these names. And the uh, very important thing here is that the MSCC is led by these people, by these institutions, and front and center, that's what the MSCC needs to be, an entity and effort that's driven and led by these organizations. Uh, so I'm delighted that you, you got to hear from uh, Al and Deb and Dr. Allo, who are uh, in the leadership of that group. Uh, Ms. Dent was had to shy to share with you that she is the vice chair of the MSEC, and Dr. Wiggins, who you saw, he's the, uh, the chair. Al uh, just got nominated to be the co-chair of a committee. So this effort is moving along, and uh, you know, uh, just meeting every single week except for the holidays. We meet every Thursday, and we've been doing that for almost three years, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes, you know. So uh, I just want to give you a very quick sample. We don't have time to cover a lot of these things, but there's been a lot of activities. Um, um, and I just uh, want to just call attention the importance of meeting these campuses where they're at, therefore, how important it is to go and be present at these campuses and go there without assumptions. And as uh, I'll mention, I mean, 
Next time he does the exercise of the hands, I think we need to have more hands raised in this audience as well. And um, with this said, uh, you know, the, uh, these workshops, uh, they've been guided by a lot of input from the schools. And also, uh, you know, we spend time at the campus uh, getting to know uh, also the community, but we work closely also with the leadership at those schools to also, uh, you know, engage. Uh, so this CI focus awareness days are really, really important as well. Um, the community has been growing, um, and just want to say that, uh, you know, there you'll see the different uh, segments, if you will, here, but uh, it's just really outstanding, the momentum that we have here. I, am, I don't have enough time uh, today to cover some additional challenges. I do think that my colleagues exemplified the challenges very, very well. And, you know, I really like how Jill, um, you know, brought up the, the approach uh, of slow, steady, and deliberate. I want to add a few words to that, too, which, um, you know, these are my words. Uh, the importance of listening, learning, uh, and, and building trust uh, is, is essential in all of this. And, you know, if we are to address these challenges, uh, I think that uh, we need to be fairly intentional about these words that I just said out loud. So uh, in less than a year from the first uh, award from the National Science Foundation, the MSCC, again, uh, and uh, through Internet2, uh, did another bold ask. Uh, with an effort to start also, you know, with these challenges in mind, and again, the, 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 through the consultation and the work that we had been doing with the campuses, to present another bold approach. And in this second award, a more significant award, a lengthier award too, uh, not only uh, we're able to uh, maintain the cadence of important activities that would allow the MSEC to be moving things forward for the institutions that will come and be driving the things through the MSEC. I do want to call attention to a couple of elements that um, also uh, are, uh, you know, very, very important not just to the NSF, but that uh, into themselves uh, present really exciting opportunities. So uh, one of these uh, components, and I'll refer to it a little bit, is this um, Proof of Concept Grant Program. And this is a, a much more deliberate, intentional approach to work with uh, a few. Uh, I wish there were more, so we have to start small in order to also scale. Uh, but to start with a few uh, campuses that we're going to take, and I like to say through a, through a journey. Uh, that's uh, not to imply that they haven't been on a journey, but this is a commitment at least for uh, not just a one year, but for five years. And through this approach to um, you know, see if we can accelerate the CI-centric research pieces in, their, in the campus. Uh, the intentionality here is by making sure that uh, not only with the expertise that will come from what we're calling Tiger teams, there's the ability to also put those at the disposal of the campus, but to work with the campus and fund the campus so that then we can start working and meet with that campus where it's at, and then advancing uh, a specific IT plan, IT for research, that could then uh, meet that campus where it's at. And um, uh, all, all I will say since we're out of time is that uh, we just wrapped up the, um, the, the, the first pass at this, we have received, I, I can't say the exact number because the review committee still has to meet uh, next week, but our hope is that very soon after that, uh, we will be conveying uh, the campuses that will get to go on this first wave and, and then go from there. We expect to be issuing sub awards by March and then uh, you know to go from there. Um, in addition to this, through this, um, through the again the the support of NSF and through MSEC, we are, uh, you know, again going to continue to do the things uh, 
that bring momentum and robustness to the MSEC. Uh, I'll mention uh, a little bit that has been referred. There's also the ability to now start supporting the MSEC campuses, even if they don't get to go through the first wave of the proof of concept grant program, but to put resources uh, available to, uh, to the campuses. And I'm delighted that I get to share Lauren Michael, where are you? Uh, uh, Lauren will be uh, helping uh, along with many others, uh, both on Internet too and the community uh, in setting up this portfolio of services and so forth. Uh, a few more details on the um, second award. Again, some very important components. Um, I am going to close with just some very quick things. We have a lot of things coming up in 2023. Um, more workshops uh, in March. We're going to Claffin. Then we're going to be going in April to University of Maryland Eastern Shore. We're in the process of trying to do another set of workshops at tribal colleges and so forth. Uh, we're going to kick off uh, a virtual series uh, around CI. You mentioned some of the things that are important here, too. Uh, also, mark your calendars. The MSEC will have its first annual meeting in uh, Atlanta. And uh, a few other things uh, that are there. Uh, I just want to close by saying that uh, you know I'm very grateful to be here with all of you. Uh, on behalf of the MSEC, we're also um, very grateful to the National Science Foundation who uh, sees uh, MSEC as a, as a change agent that can uh, drive and develop strategies that can advance uh, cyber infrastructure for HBCUs, TCUs, HSIs, and other MSIs. So thank you, and uh, how was that? <laughs>